ain't show like coat now. Bitch, the party ain't over. Go ham in here and grab your friend by the hand. Let me know if you down. Body like playmate of the year. I might make that play of the year. I already know that we don't play fair. Thanks for uh, taking some time to, to talk with me this afternoon. Just making some happy clouds here. I'm tromosexual. <laughs> Sexually attracted to Joseph Troman. <laughs> yo, I know about music. And Patrick's like, yo, I know more about music. That's impossible. Do you want to start a band? Molly from San Padre Island. That sounds very festive. It is around spring break. Well, then it is. <laughs> me. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, me. I have like this, the hair. Even though I don't wash it, it still it takes like a lot to get it wet. It takes a lot to get me wet. Running with the devil. <laughs> that is it. That's the song. Running with the devil. What is bubble chair? It's not the real bubble chair. It's it's a knockoff, but it's a very nice knockoff. Not only do you get to see such wonderful music acts such as followed by Wizard Man and Hound Dog Al. I love Hound Dog Al. But you can also immerse yourself in incredulously mesmerizing recreational exercises such as blowing off steam, martial arts. Uh, so what's it, uh, what's it feel like to be playing such a historical venue? I want to make this nice and bright. I like to get these clouds nice and fluffy, it's looking nice. pretty. We had, this, we had this discussion yesterday. I don't really think anybody in this band is truly a real danceaholic. <laughs> but Patrick does a very kind of like really entertaining, I think it's kind of good, sort of like James Brownie white dude kind of like pelvic thrusty dance. I like it. I think it's good. It's definitely on the wider side of life, but I mean, it's good. Like, I, I like it. I'm not a good dancer. <coughs> I can do the Charleston like fucking hell, though. <laughs> but no, he's, he's, I think Patrick probably is the best dancer. It's, is it nice to be back and see all these people out on the road again? As long as they don't throw shoes at us. <laughs> I get off whenever I type Joe Troman as Joe Troham. <laughs> Joe would be hot with ham for hands. I mean, I just know. I was there. Yeah. I did it all by myself. I didn't have any help. Joe Troman is paying for one night of sleep, eight hours in the dog cage, and he's for $25. <laughs> I mean, it's documented on like an old DVD. It wasn't a night. It was like five minutes at the most, and then put on a DVD, and then you can spin that story any way you want when it's on film, you know? And I was also like 17. I don't know if that, do a lot of 17 year olds spend time in a dog cage? I think they do. Um, so I got here last night and I had a fever. Yeah, and then I woke up uh, to a beautiful view of the River Danube, which is great. I sat outside and I had some breakfast, and then a doctor named Janos, named Janos, came and visited me and told me I have bronchitis. Uh, so my impression is that Budapest is very beautiful. The little bit of hunger I've seen outside is very, very lovely. Um, your doctors are great, as far as I can tell. If good antibiotics changing on stage and I was like, oh no, everyone can see me naked and no, that's my bedroom. That was me. Rock and roll. I think, you know, I like to do, I like to put some happy waves. Because waves, they can be happy, right? Yeah. They're not always yeah, capsizing boats and yeah, toss, toss drowning, yeah. drowning bystanders. Sometimes sure. they're just, sometimes things are just happy. That's, that's, that's a great spot for it. Yeah, just a, just a little wave. So, uh, you could really shred this wave. Me. The party guy. Boozing. Boozing. Smoking illegal marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> you know, who knows what else. Kate Upton, but she has Betty White's head. 
If I'm drunk enough, sure, why not? <laughs> Tiny thing, this doesn't hurt. Unless you're painful. Joe's like, yo, I made time to find the fucking art, dude. I gotta find some fucking metal. The all-star? Hey man, it's an all-star deal right now. It's the best man. But eat this though. Can I pretend to eat it? Yeah, well we'll just okay. kind of we'll just you'll see you on that one. I'll do a You'll CGI it out. Cool. I looked at photos from back in the day. I think I've always been like this, where I'm like, I wake up and I'm in like pajama pajama pants and a t-shirt. I'm like I thought that was appropriate to do a photo shoot like that. At least like now, when it comes to a photo shoot, I'll like try, but I don't try that hard. So I'll just say me. Throw myself under the bus. There's this cool kind of chalkboard paint up here. It's kind of some obscene stuff on the walls, but um, you know, you could, most normal people would like write notes on it or draw pictures that don't have gross stuff and I'm like, meh. Sure. You having a great day? Uh, it's a great day. That's fantastic. Um, is there anything... Is there something you'd like to see in this painting that make you feel happy, make you feel better about yourself? The sun? A change.org to try and get a taco emoji. It's just so important. It's actually not the dumbest change.org that has existed. So <laughs> you got it's okay. Oh, uh, Patrick. Yeah, he's usually he stays up very late, and so he doesn't get up very early. He's a self-proclaimed night owl and uh, self-appointed night owl <laughs> of, the, <laughs> of the Royal British Order. <laughs> It's Jennifer Aniston's body, but she has Andy's head. Definitely, without a doubt. He's a handsome man. <laughs> With absolutely a fabulous he's body. He's a handsome man. With Jennifer Aniston's body. And he's got a great body uh, as it is. So <laughs> Who let the dog drop? Who lied? How long has it been since Joe last washed his hair? It's impossible to know. Uh, Why did you decide to tour with Wiz Khalifa and Hoodie Allen? They made us do it. I think okay. maybe, speaking of extra, maybe we should get a couple more trees down here to make it real extra, you know? Yeah, that's cool, man. Whatever. I don't give a shit. Eyes are like, you know, yeah. show when someone is alive or not alive. <laughs> so it starts to seem kind of almost yeah, little maybe crossing the line a little bit. necrosexual. <laughs> I think it's reminiscent of this. <laughs> Gee whiz. Gee whiz, guys. Musically talented, I think everyone would probably say Patrick, just because he just, he's just one of those guys, you know? I've done lots of bands with guys like that, um, and uh, yeah, there's always, well, for a band to work, there needs to be at least one guy like that. He's just, his brain is just kind of like made more out of musical connections than it's made out of like regular synapses and things. <laughs> Blood, whatever brain's made out of meat, Less brain meat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think everybody in this band is super talented. I met him at uh, met Patrick at Borders, um, and then me and Pete went over to his house one day and he played us a uh, bunch of our Save the Day songs on acoustic guitar and he sang and it was really awesome. And then we met Andy, we got Andy from a stork. Yeah. Yeah, I've known Pete for like eight years. Maybe, maybe. We did hard. Would you rather, this is serious journalism, okay, change gender every time you sneeze or be sexually attracted to fruit? Oof. Change gender? That would be cool. Interesting for love. Time. Probably get annoying. <laughs> I'd say the fruit sex. <laughs> but then what would happen every time you walk into Whole Foods? I don't go to Whole Foods. Okay. Well, there we go. Yeah, I get fresh direct. It's delivered. So well, then you'd be in the, the privacy of your own home. Sex at home with the peaches, yeah. my friend. I think I'm the most, like, social. That makes me the most personal. I can also be the, the most off-putting. I have both sides. It depends on my mood. That's a real combination of my mother and father, though. One of them is... doesn't like people a lot, and the other one doesn't like people but pretends they like people. Um, 
That's real weird. <laughs> nah, they both like people, all right, they're fine. Um, but I guess me, just because like, it's funny, we we're talking about like all these festivals, and now when we all show up to the festival on the way, we're like, fuck, we're not gonna know anybody, it's gonna be weird, it's all these different bands, blah, blah, blah. And I show up and immediately I'm like, hey, you, 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 I know all you guys. I've just always inserted myself in social situations ever since I can, ever since I was a wee, wee sprout. So, I guess myself. It's, 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 There's plenty of people what, that live it's what and we go the, to it's what music we in the school. Com- okay. what we in the comedy biz call a joke. Well, that's okay. We have all your summertime fun bundled into one basket, the Boys of Summer Tour. If you had to lick a homeless person in the nostril or the armpit, which would you go for? Mm, I would go for neither. Well, you have to, that's okay. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> and if you don't play guitar, you could use it as a weapon to kill somebody, which I don't advocate, but it would totally fucking work. I mean, anyone's... Here's, here's the, the secret about... I mean, you know this. I'm just saying this for the camera. The secret of finding someone funny when they're drunk is to also be drunk. Otherwise, everyone is everyone who's drunk is annoying to a sober person. Who who got nominated for this one? Patrick. Patrick. Sure. Yeah, he's a pretty funny drunk. He's funny because he switches personalities. Really, like he all of a sudden like becomes incredibly social and loves everybody. Not that he hates everybody who is antisocial, but he's much more reserved. And I think he really really loosens them up more than anybody else. Like I'm more of like a destroyer of. Of, of artifacts, he's 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 pretty funny. He's just very funny and like warm and. You're stranded on a desert island. No, I'm not. Me. Andy's pretty funny. I, I think Andy's a funny guy. Okay. The only food that you can eat to survive is celebrity. So you have to eat a celebrity to survive. Could it be a homeless celebrity? It could be a homeless celebrity. Ah, that's not nice. Uh, I'll throw myself under the bus on that one. I'll say I have the worst taste in music. I won't. I can, I'm not going to say that very much of a life outside of <laughs> Hey, I'm going to be... Save the save, lady. And then you run over to the baby and bandage and clean the baby's hand. Clean the baby's hand first. Yeah, I mean, that was... It was good. Star in Mad Men, I think. Nora's a head. George head. Bush Sr. George Bush... <laughs> I think... I don't... Oh yeah, duh. Marcus, he's a terrible snorer. Marcus, the fifth member of the band. <laughs> the, f- the most menacing member of the band. To get to the old lady age takes 70, 80 years. Yeah, you gotta let- Gotta protect It's like get a ferment- it's like a ferment- <laughs> it's like a fermented baby. Oh, I don't know, I think volleys between myself and Pete at times, I'd say, you know? Um, I was, I was, you know, only because I'd say Pete used to be the guy who's like late and all the and, and stuff. I'm just the guy that like because I'm the last guy to the bus. I'm the guy with the drinking problem. I'm gonna call it a problem. I think it's a drinking solution. You wanna play guitar? And I'm the ghost of Pete, and I play bass. I'll say one more thing. I think the guitar is a cooler guitar than I am a person. <laughs> the guy with the drinking problem. I'm gonna call it a problem. I think it's a drinking solution. Well, it was summertime, come summer fun. It was summer fun, come summer activities. Wouldn't you like to come and have summer fun? This person uh, recently twerked in a video. Oh, okay. Are you gonna... I feel like spoofs on you. You just kissed my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Spoof a goof on you, buddy. You just had sex with my brother. <laughs> I mean, it has been like. I know, just mashing just sounded funny. Mashing. Um, but this guitar, it's just been like beaten to shit. It works, but I should probably never bring it out on tour again. Joe. Joe. It's Joe, come on. Mm, who was nominated for that one? You and Patrick. Oh, really? I'm a pretty big complainer. Patrick's a big complainer too, though. I think it just it really switches off. I'll, I'll throw myself under for that one, sure. I know I complain a, a good deal. Try to be aware of that. That's my. That's definitely my wife calling. <laughs> I mean, 
I, I usually don't end up seeing even like anything that we do on TV because I don't even have cable. So used to it. Get used to it. Take it day by day. Andy's got a really good attitude at Soundcheck. Or is that not true? Is that what, not what other people say? Oh, I think he's he's good. I think I'm always I'm usually up there first. <laughs> That's, I don't know if that what that means. What did people say about that one? <laughs> um, Andy got mentioned. And okay, I'll say Andy. Yeah. Okay, but that's, that's pretty good actually. I want you to sing it. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I'm, okay. I'm like 30 years old. I don't know any One Direction songs.